guys, Sarah, welcome to my channel. Two years ago, I jumped from marine biology to become a wildlife artist full time. So on this channel, we're gonna talk about how to paint realistic wildlife textures in nature and also document the process of starting up a business as a full time artist. All right, we are here early in the morning. My husband is my assistant today. Woohoo! And the sun is rising. We are here before it gets too hot and we are going to paint this brick. The other reason why we were here and started so early in the morning was to project the design of the mural wings onto the wall. So you can kind of see that out in chalk outlines. And now we're gonna go over and do some work in black paint, largely uh, this morning. But because it was before sunrise, you're gonna see the lighting of the camera footage is a little iffy at the beginning of this footage, but it gets way better uh, later on when it becomes full daylight. And yeah, my uh, dad actually came by when I started painting this mural and uh, came and visited me, which was really fun. So he's in the footage here and stands in front of the wings uh, as if he's posing with them, which was kind of really helpful to get different height perspective to just make sure that they were gonna work with all different heights of adults uh, and kids in here. So that was a good proof of concept for the design. But basically in this video, the main thing I wanted to talk about was symmetry and how to line up and especially with the brick, you can really tell when you project something on that slight angles of your projector, if it's not 100% 90 degrees square with your wall, it can really affect skewing of the image if you've used projectors before. A lot of what I'm doing is I did the left wing first for a lot of the design. I wasn't sure if I was gonna add uh, space for the white dots along the outside rim, so I kind of left that blank for now. But what I'm doing now with the second wing and why it takes so much longer is because I'm matching the lines of the brick to make sure that the pattern is in the same row of bricks on both sides. So I'm looking back and forth between my reference image and also the left wing on the wall. How many bricks tall is this section of the wing and loosely how many bricks wide is it? So by doing it this way, when you kind of have a natural grid like you do with brick, it's really important to try and use it as scale when you're helping to do your, your mural. So yeah, otherwise I'm just using a regular house paint brush and black paint. This entire uh, time-lapse footage can basically be condensed into probably about four hours in the morning. And this is a bit of a real-time footage of what it's actually uh, looking like. So I kind of do an initial line where I think that it is going to match on the left side and uh, double check the chalk that it's in the right spot, looking back and forth between those two lines to see where exactly they should be. And then I'm just kind of doing it very roughly in black paint. Then I go over these lines and really make sure that all the cracks of the brick are uh, covered and saturated with paint. This mural was so fun to do. It took me four days uh, and you're gonna see day one in this video. Then I'm going to have another video, uh, which I can link up into the cards uh, for the second part two of this butterfly. So we are going to make it a rainbow butterfly. So instead of being the traditional red, orange monarch colors, we're going to try and do a gradient from a kind of purple magenta at the top to red, orange, green, down to back to a blue at the bottom of the wings. So I thought this was kind of a really fun uh, nod to pride in our community and also monarchs have such a great story. They use the Bruce Trail as a bottleneck as they migrate up north in their migration pattern and they come all the way from Mexico. So they recently got on the endangered species list. So I thought it was really important to kind of use the monarch wing shape and design when we were creating this project with my client. And yeah, they wanted a rainbow interactive butterfly wings. So they were more than happy to accommodate the monarch aspect, which was really, really fun to get to paint uh, as it's a local species we have here. So at this point, I decided to fill in the outside of the wings and just deal with the white dots later. Um, it was getting pretty warm and if it's not obvious, I'm very pregnant in this uh, in this painting. I'm about eight months pregnant uh, with my son, so he's sleeping in his crib right now. But it's uh, 
it was a good call to do it this way and then just go back and do the white dots on the outside edge later. Uh, otherwise, it would have just taken so much time to try and map it out twice, if that makes sense, because you'd have to do it again when I was painting the white. So just leaving that section and doing it all in the black was really helpful now. So all the areas that are kind of empty space are going to be where the colors are going to go in our next video. But yeah, it takes quite a bit of time to really make sure that all of the lines of the brick are really nice and saturated with paint. And you want to make sure that uh, everything is really even. And you can see I'm just matching the top edge of the wing. Uh, I'm expanding it a little higher than it was in the chalk footage to match the right side of the mural because it went up a little higher on that side. It's so satisfying to paint a mural using just one color. And a lot of people walking by already thought it was done at this stage, but it got way better later in the week. And the last little bit of uh, brick is getting filled in with black here. So now we're doing a classic pose with it, making sure it looks good for you know, the size and everything. And next week's video, we are adding the color to make this butterfly the rainbow butterfly of your dreams. So come back next week, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you then when we make this super pretty.